Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, if you're a doctor in a foreign country, you can't just come to the U.S. and hang out a shingle and start a practice. Even if you are a world-renowned expert in your field, first you have to pass two licensing exams, and then you have to get into a residency program which has very few spots available for foreigners. And then you have to pass a third test. And all of this takes years. What this does is discourage foreign doctors from coming here because they can't practice medicine. It severely limits competition between doctors in the United States which allows doctors to charge very high rates for what they do. I mean, it, it is well known that we have a shortage of doctors, especially general practitioners here. But the AMA is a very powerful lobby and has been able to preserve the status quo. So when free trade de deals have been passed, they have made sure that nothing was in them that would change their position. Now, it's important to maintain high standards in medicine, and we don't want just anybody to be able to come here and start practicing medicine. But you could maintain those high standards without all of the rigmarole that these foreign doctors have to go through. What this is about is limiting competition. It's protectionism. But mainly it illustrates the fact that our trade deals could have been structured very differently than they are now. For example, they could have uh, made it easier for foreign doctors to practice here. They could have created more competition between American corporations and foreign corporations. They could have made the wealthy elite a little less wealthy. They could, for example, have forced other countries to wage raises instead of encouraging the U.S. to lower wages, which would have been a greater benefit for the people everywhere and would have preserved jobs here. Now, Donald Trump has said that he's going to renegotiate our trade deals and make them better. But do you really believe that he's going to do anything that benefits American workers? Just last week he said that wages here in America are too high. Trump is not as rich as he says he is. But he is the 1%. And as last week's deal with Carrier illustrates, he could not give two fucks about American workers. They are props to make him look better. All of the benefits to that deal didn't go to the workers. They went to the corporation, Carrier. He's already shown that he plans to use the presidency to increase his own profits. And he will increase the profits of his rich friends, too. And all of you workers out there who voted for him, well, sorry. You don't fit into his plans. Thanks for listening.